It's about two, three days now since I bought this car. Today I decided to run a few maintenance on it so I can get it on the internet. I mean, this is my money sitting right here. So I don't think it's advisable to keep it sitting here for ages. Since I bought the vehicle, maybe people might be wondering what are some of the problems that I've actually encountered. Normally with vehicles, you will seem not to see the issue until you own it and drive it for i mean a couple of hours first and first i don't know what the situation was on this vehicle i mean it's always best you know the history of every car that you purchase but this being an impound vehicle i'm not sure why it was impounded but there are a few evidence that makes it a bit obvious so first of all there was blood which i think i showed you guys and there was also an alcohol splash so it's like they hit something and then the alcohol splashing the car and i don't know what happened why there was blood i don't know if that is even blood or wine i don't know but it's red and i've done a bit of cleaning i've started a few i mean cleaning so far um i wasn't in the mood to capture but i just thought I, at best i update you guys on what's going on so here is what is currently happening i've wiped the dash so now the dash is looking uh, more cleaner than before so now i'm working on this center console so this is where the blood was and this is where the messy part is i mean this is where the most um, it smells it still smells like cigarette but i'm trying my possible best to get it look i mean a bit attractive to the person who is going to buy so um yeah i'm using some few products that i was using when i was doing the headlights business it's getting there it's not quite there but it's getting there i'm not sure what actually happened here so could it be maybe the cops were after him and he decided to speed up and hit something i don't know but yeah this side well it's just loose um yeah it's loose and the clips are broken so i'll have to fix this and clean it up and I don't think I'll be getting new tires for this. I've already spent a lot so far, so I'm just gonna do what I can, and then what I can't, I'll just let it go as it is. So. I just finished with majority of the cleaning, and um, I think it's actually looking a bit better than before. Now it smells actually better, and you can hardly smell the cigarette scents, but there's still a lot that got to be done but now i want to take it to a car wash and get the body done because the body is not looking good so i'm just gonna wash the body and the funny thing is in case you're watching me and you don't know by any chance so in canada when you take your car for a car wash they don't touch the inside unless you pay extra for detailing so if you go for car detailing that is where they wash inside out everywhere of the car but a regular car wash they're just going to wash the outside of the body and then the rest you have to deal with it so i'm not sure if it is only canada or even the state or any other country but this is something that i've noticed i mean coming from south africa ghana when you take your car for car wash car wash is car wash so they wash outside inside and everywhere of the vehicle but in canada it's different when i was cleaning the car i'm not sure if you guys can see it, it looks actually better than before <laughs> So this looks neat. I mean, someone will be tempted to buy this. Sometimes it's always best. The car smells good. It looks good. It attracts more buyers than just leaving it as it is. I'm not sure where the actual owner, I mean, the previous owner of the vehicle comes from. But whilst I was cleaning, I mean, it's normal in most of the vehicles. So when you're cleaning most of the cars, you might see coins, money. This particular one, I got some coin inside, which some of them is Canadian currency. But the other one is... Repub Republica de Cuba so I'm guessing the previous owner is from Cuba this is a self-service I'll have to do everything by myself it's not the regular ones that you go in and then it washes it I just want to do it myself so I can like have the full power of it oh and I changed my clothes because <laughs> why not <laughs> they gave me this I don't even know what it's about but they call it the tokens and that is what i'll be using so they use money to exchange for this and that is how i'll get this car washed
okay now i'm done cleaning it and it's looking super neat so tell me why i can't sell this vehicle for six thousand or seven compared to the way it was at first i would say this is way better so the only problem for the person who will buy it to fix will have to be this thing here i'm not sure why that is the case but this is actually the steering lock and i don't know how it got broken so that thing actually locks the steering when you remove the key so in few turn this it's not supposed to turn but it's turning so in this case i'm not sure what the problem is but i believe changing the steering rack or something to do with the steering will solve this thanks for joining i just hope you did enjoy this whole little tour it's been very tough trying to film myself do i mean the minor stuff on the vehicle and make sure everything is looking good it's tough to do both at the same time but i'm hoping that you guys did enjoy i mean the car is looking very neat and i'm actually jealous <laughs> i feel like keeping it man but anyways i mean uh, it's it's business so i have to let it go so guys let me know what your thoughts are let me know what you think and i guess i'll catch you in the next one do not forget to subscribe like it took a lot of effort man so guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one peace